Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back here at 5:30. I'm Maurice Dubois. The Queen's DA says agents seized homemade explosives and ghost guns earlier in the month, along with a handwritten hit list. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has more now from Astoria. Ghost gun assault weapons, pistols, ammunition, body armor, a 3D printer, smoke bombs, and IEDs were just some of the items police say they seized from the Astoria apartment of brothers Andrew and Angelo Hatziagelis. Four of the IEDs were recovered in the same container. Had one of those IEDs detonated, it would likely have resulted in a shockwave that would have detonated the remaining explosives. As a result, the NYPD's bomb squad had to evacuate the apartment building at 804 36th Avenue, located across the street from a Con Ed power facility, as they carried out a search warrant joined by multiple other agencies. Neighbor Shailene Heffernan took that picture. I told the agents, you know, we all know they're a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, but this takes it to a whole new level. She's lived in the building, which has about seven apartments, for 20 years and says the brothers, ages 39 and 51, their mother and another brother, have lived there almost as long. They just have a huge chip on their shoulder. I went out of my way to not interact with them. It's gotten to that point. No one answered the door to their apartment Monday. Authorities say they also seized anarchist propaganda from the home and an apparent hit list with cops, judges, politicians, celebrities and bankers written down, but their exact plans remain under investigation. The Queen's DA wouldn't go into too much detail, but says neither brother was on their radar. One had a prior misdemeanor conviction from 1994. So how did this six-month investigation start? The investigation does entail the internet. It does entail uh, the purchasing of the parts of these weapons. Both men were indicted on 130 counts of criminal possession of a weapon and other related charges. They'll be back in court February 15th. Both are facing up to 25 years behind bars if convicted. In Astoria, Queens, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. The DA says it doesn't appear the Con Ed power facility was any kind of target, but again, this investigation is ongoing. Homeland Security and state police are also involved.